Hi, this is a quick video demonstration on how to perform a partial fulfillment for your sales order line items. So the first thing you need to do here is you will need to download the sales order or sales orders that you would like to perform the item fulfillment uh, or the partial item fulfillment. So once we have the information here for the sales order, uh, the information that we need from the sales order itself to actually perform the partial fulfillment is the transaction ID of the sales order. Uh, the line ID and also the quantity of the uh, for the item itself. So once we have the, all that information, we're going to go into this item fulfillment tab, and I have my item fulfillment template already created and loaded onto the sheet. So once we have the transaction ID of the sales order for this video demonstration, I am going to fulfill it for the first four line items. So as you can see, it's actually graying out for the creative front field because it's validating the sales order from that uh, sales order transaction that we have. And once we have that information filled out for the uh, creative front field, we're gonna go to the ship, to, uh, ship status. The ship status, if you want, you can actually type it out in the cell, or if you want, you can click the pick list. For this instance, for demo purposes, I'm gonna make it ship status. And then the next thing we'll need is going to be the order line. So that's going to be the first four line items. And then the quantity is going to be, I'm actually not going to enter in the 10, 20, and 1, and 3. I am going to do a partial fulfillment of the quantity. So instead of 10, I'm going to put 5. I'm going to put 10. And then line 3 and line 4, I'm going to put 1 and 3 to fulfill all of it. The most important field for the item fulfillment uh, template is going to be the replace all field. So for this, you're indicating and letting the system know that you are going to perform a partial fulfillment. So instead of um, making it true, we're going to make it false. So once this is made false, you're letting the system know that you're only fulfilling for these first four line items. And then for column H, we're going to make it true, which is going to be an indicator that you are going to fulfill those items. So once we have all that information, we're going to go down to the update button. You're going to select all records unless you highlighted the rows that you want to update. But for demo purposes, I've selected all records to indicate that I'm going to fulfill everything within the template itself. So once that's checked off, I'm going to select the insert slash update button. And as you can see, it's processing a batch of one record. So once this is uploaded, you're going to see that the internal ID is going to be generated for the fulfillment. So if we go back into the sales order, the status of this, once I refresh the page, will be pending billing as well as pending fulfillment. So once the status updates, we're going to go down to the line items. And as you can see, uh, it's picked, packed, and fulfilled for the items of quantities I have uh, or the quantity of the items I have when it comes to the partial fulfillment that I've created. So that is a quick, easy way for you to perform a partial fulfillment for the line items within the sales order. Thank you for watching.